What's going on, guys, and welcome. This is episode number 40 of RizzoCast. I'm Steven Rizzotto, and we are joined today by a very special guest. His name is Isaiah Navarro. Uh, he is with us here. He is a football player, a senior, class of 2021 at Paraclete High School in Lancaster, California. And he's on for a reason um, that he probably does not want to be on for, but a tweet of his went viral and it was a frustrating tweet that, you know, he was just trying to vent and here's the tweet. He tweeted quote, zero offers, zero looks, zero commitments, zero time on campus, zero homecoming, zero prom, zero traditional graduation. What a wasted final year of school worked hard and dedicated for absolutely zero. And then it goes on to say um, absolutely zero. Big shout out to at Gavin Newsom. You got what you wanted. So that's some powerful stuff, man. And I mean, clearly frustrated. The pandemic has, has ruined the, the school lives of many students and student athletes. Describe that frustration into words. What happened for you to kind of trigger that tweet? What led me to put that tweet out there was the season getting pushed back the um, emotions of not having that season, getting that season getting taken away from us, having no control over it, um, having this taken away from student athletes across the country. It's, it's a big thing for us, especially us seniors and juniors. We lost a third of our high school lives. We can't take that back. Yeah, for sure. So last season, did you guys get a full football season in? Yes, I'm glad that we did. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd imagine I can't imagine two football seasons getting canceled there. So what was some of the reception you had from this tweet? I know you've been on some national news sites. That's pretty awesome. Uh what what was some of the, the great positive reception you got from the tweet? A bunch of kids, um at uh, high school, uh parents, um students like uh, siding with me, agreeing, see like they're going through the same thing. I'm not the only person. I, I'm i glad that I'm speaking out for most of um, the students because this this is our season and we don't want it to be taken away. We want we want to play. You guys want to play, and that, that's awesome. I know there's um, kind of the, the let them play California type thing going on. And do you kind of feel like an ambassador now? Do you feel like you've taken on like an ambassador role to that whole movement? A little bit, but I I want to take all the credit. A lot of us have been working towards to get our season. Um, a lot of schools, um, parents, and even that account on Twitter, uh, let them play California. It's it's a big thing because this is uh, Cal California is a big um, state for football athletes going to colleges. Yeah, no doubt about it. There's. 50 million people living in the state, a lot, a lot of, you know, football players, a lot of athletes in high school that play. Um, there's some negative comments on there too. There's negative reactions. I'm sure you saw them. Um, what would you respond to the people saying, you know, calling you a whiner, calling you ungrateful, you know, saying, Oh, you're still living. What would your response be to those, those kind of negative comments? I don't really focus on those because you you go on with life after that. It, it, don't dwell on those people that hate on you. Just go forward with it. Um, us 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 athletes don't dwell on people's anger, even though it helps us in the game. Um, we don't we don't dwell on that. It it gives us the feel to the engine. Yeah, you and your friends and your teammates. Do you guys get that sense that? You know, we only have one, you know, we only have one shot at this. We can't play sports all of our lives. This is, you know, high school is a big time, especially in football, for you guys to get noticed, for you guys to go down that path into possibly being a professional athlete, an amateur athlete. Do you and your teammates ever talk about, you know, th this is this is crushing for us. This is something that could possibly take away that dream. Yeah, most of us do. Um we talk about like how this was unexpected from last year. We didn't think the uh, virus would be this um, this widespread. So this continued from March 
of last year. Uh, we got out of school on a Friday and that was the last time we were in the actual school fa facility. So you brought Newsom, Governor Newsom into this. Would you put all the blame on, on Governor Newsom? Most of it, yeah. Because <laughs> um, he's, most of our um, uh, sports is through an institution for sports in high schools. And him saying like, oh, we got a um, control on this, a few sports. Because like cross country is actually okay right now. Um, and they're doing their races, they're doing their competitions. But for football to be able to get to that level, we need to have, we need to be in like a third tier to play. We're still in the first tier. Yeah, definitely going to take a while to get to that third tier. Did, did Governor Newsom ruin, possibly ruin your, your football career? He, yeah, he possibly have. Because a lot of us have chances to show our, our abilities, our, our skills through the game. And this, that helps most of, um, helps families out. Students want to help their families, their relatives, and get them out of like how they're living sometimes. Yeah, hundred percent. So I mentioned, let them play California. Have you been to any of their rallies, any of their, their events that they've put on maybe over zoom, maybe in person? No, I have not. I've been still practicing with my school and hoping to get that like notification or saying like, oh, we're going to have a season. Yeah, what is it? What is because I know that's all up in the air. I know a lot of schools in California are kind of still contemplating whether or not to play. What is your situation like currently with with your school? Is there still talk that the season's going to happen? Is there a plan? I know we talked about the tiers. Um, so what's going on with you and your, your school's program right now? The school, our principal is, um, he, we have all uh, procedures, uh, safeties. We have everything ready to go back to school. We're ready for that. Um, our, ac our academics, our, our teachers are prepared. Even though our online, world, uh, online learning was um, hard to get used to, our teachers got were learned easily from that and going back would help our mental health and uh, overall health. So how would you implement some safety measures? I know you said the school has some, cause I know in the NFL, uh, if you take your mask off or if you have your mask off for a long period of time, you're going to get like a big time fine. I know Kyle Shanahan with the 49ers at the beginning of the year had a, had a fine there. So what would be some of your safety measures if you were somebody putting the guidelines in the place? Um, we, I would do the six feet, definitely the six feet, um, especially in classrooms. Since it's closed, it's a closed area. We would have, I would put a few students in that classroom, have a few students in the classroom and online. So it would, they could switch off every other day, still get that feeling of, going to school feeling mm -hmm. um, mask definitely mask to have that first um, layer of protection for um, face coverage yeah for sure that's obviously one of the biggest things that can protect you from covid any uh, infectious disease so what made you fall in love with football how long have you played it i've played it since i was seven um wow I, I first started playing when, uh, in middle school, I got a paper saying this team was uh, looking for players to play. And me, I'm like, this is a sport. I, 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 me and my family, we love sports. So me playing that sport, starting off there, that was the right foot to start off on to lead my journey into football. So I watched, uh, in preparation for this, you'd be pleased to know that I watched your highlight video on YouTube. Um, there's a blue football field. I've never seen that before. What field is that your field? Is that like a rival school's field? What's going on with the blue football field? Um, that's a rival school f uh, field there. Um, that's their main color blue. They're Chaminade. Um, they're, they, they have a great program, a lot of great players. We beat them the last, the last season we played them. They, it was a good um, game that we played against them. 
yeah, they they got to clean up the the blue there on the on the football field. <laughs> so going from 2019 defensive lineman of the year at your school to not having a season, what was some of the the adjustments you made going into this season? I know in, in previous tweets you had you put in a lot of work to kind of get ready for the season. What kind of work did you put in? Um, last season I was two two hundred twenty pounds, and after the season ended, I worked out. I kept doing everything to get myself to that 250 mark. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm glad I reached that 250 mark doing benches, um, squatting, running, a lot a lot of stuff. Yeah, there's a ton of restrictions. Um, have you had the, did you have to be creative with some of your workouts or do you have access to like a gym? Uh, I had to be creative with some of my workouts. Um, but I also have a um, home gym in my garage. So that's where I mainly work out and um, I get all the work I can for about an hour or two. Yeah, for sure. That That's definitely a, a good way to get going. Let's talk about looks because I know that was a big thing in your tweet. What were you hoping for during a normal – say this was a normal season, a normal non-pandemic, non-Newsome worrying season. What were you hoping for like in terms of – college was it a d1 were you aiming for d2 d3 you know was juco the plan all along what was your your aim my aim was to get that opportunity any opportunity really to go to college have that scholarship or offer and having that would be a huge step in my path to um college and leading on from that mm -hmm. so what now where do you go from here um, I'm, I actually got, I'm talking to a couple coaches after the tweet. Um, I hope to get more from more coaches talking from that tweet and see how I'm trying to help, uh, the state of California and the country to go on with sports. There we go. The, so the tweet ended up being pretty counterproductive. So aside from football, forget about football for a second what would be your plan moving forward? Like, do you have a major in mind that you have? What is, what are some of your passions outside of football? Uh, I plan on majoring in business, uh, marketing and finance. Those are, I'm good with numbers. <laughs> so that's my big um, step. If I don't get that opportunity. So if you had the chance to give governor Newsom a message, like just a message, pretend I'm not here, pretend you know, you're talking to him. What would you say to him? Most of us want to play. Um, we're, we're desperate for a season and we, we're dying for that one uh, opportunity to get that chance for a season. And if we get that chance, a great leap on from there on. And I can't, I can't end this interview without asking you about Super Bowl Sunday. And by the time this comes out, it might've already, we probably already know the outcome um so what is what is your prediction are you going with you know the steady tom brady obviously there's the the running gag you can't bet against tom brady or are you going against the super offense with patrick mahomes and company i'm a i'm gonna go with patrick mahomes this is gonna be a hard game for him it's probably gonna be one of his toughest ones yet um knowing um him and tom brady are probably the best quarterbacks in the league right now um after that it's it's gonna be a great game to watch i'm going i'm going with the chiefs chiefs there we go uh i will go with the chiefs as well isaiah thanks for coming on man i appreciate the time thank, thank you for having me you guys could have follow isaiah navarro on twitter at isaiah j navarro one you guys could follow the podcast on twitter and instagram at rizzocast you guys could subscribe on youtube Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, um, iHeartRadio. I mean, everything has this. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for watching and have an unbelievable rest of your day.